Alrighty. Gotcha. There we go. Just unlocked. Bam. Lego Pants Mark II. Alright, and here we... Looks like we probably have a good amount. Yeah. Yeah, there's a note. So let's get moving. Alright. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Oh. Alright, keep on going. Yeah, we gotta get to the cave. Uh, Calavera Cave. Oh, this is actually like iron shaped. That's actually kind of cool. Alrighty. Attraction closed. Do not enter. Tourism offer li operator license for Calavera Cave has been revoked for the following violations. New duty, dangerous historical contraband sold in the gift shop, leading to multiple and catastrophic on-site fatalities. Uh, trespassers will be prosecuted. May 7th, yeah. 2009. So even that before he came Just into power. Just a story about pirates. Still, might be some loot. Yeah. Might be. Yeah. Lame. Got to be away in there. All right. This is the infamous firearm known as La Petite Mort, wielded by the notorious Captain Ignacio Corso, aka El Calavera. Uh, its innovative flintlock design employed a napalm-like substance known as Greek fire. According to legend, Captain Ignacio placed a curse on the weapon, La Petite Mort. The tor La Petite Mort would kill anyone who tried to take the gun. We have been curses. Hold La Petite uh, Mort if you dare. Well, yeah, it probably freaking backfired on most people. I wouldn't say it's probably a curse. It was probably like an operation thing where he set it up so that way, unless you knew how to fire it, you couldn't actually use it. Um, El Calavera and Whiskey Gwen. Skull Cave was named for both ports. It's distinctive geo uh, geographical features in the pirate who lived in it, El Calavera, or the Skull. Born to Spanish nobility, he took to the seas to see the New World. After squandering his wealth, he was forced into piracy. Being a pirate suited him, and he began stashing his ill-gotten gains in the caves of Yara. Orphaned in an English workhouse, Whiskey Gwen drank from a young age. Surrounded by hopelessness and despair, Gwen talked her way onto a privateer ship. After a few years at sea, her captain died under mysterious circumstances, and Gwen seized a command for herself. He became one of the most successful privateers in the service a of the British crown. Um, unexpected love. Whiskey Gwen was commissioned to capture... El Calavera for the crown. She chased the unruly pirate while he ransacked, drinking, uh, cavorted his way across the Caribbean. He was always two steps ahead, dodging her at, her at every port. Learning that El Calavera had made Yara his home base, Gwen caught up with him on the island. How the lovers met is not known, but it is believed that they had an encounter on the west coast that spawned their torrid love affair. Mm -hmm. A stormy affair. Though very different, Gwen and El Calavera's love of the sea brought them together. The couple raided islands, plundering and parting. They were a very forward-thinking couple before their times, putting their spoils down the middle and keeping their own ships and crew. Like any couple, they had their fights. They often accused each other of stealing, causing violent fights that lasted months. And after a spectacularly bloody spat that resulted in the deaths of crewmates and the fire destruction of one of their hideouts, they made the sensible choice and decided to get married. Match made in hell. Sure. Sensible choice, you know. We keep killing each other. You know what? Let's get married. What? Alrighty then. Who holds the gun in this relationship? The vow of love between Gwen and Ignacio was broken when she asked for La Petite Mort as an engagement gift. Legend says that instead of giving it to Gwen, Ignacio put a curse on the gun. Anyone trying to take it would die. According to the story, the night before the wedding, Gwen stole La Petite Mort and shot Ignacio. And when he tried to stop her, Ignacio was killed outright, but the gun backfired and mortally wounded Gwen as well. Chris had come true. Under the cave to see where the lovers and that died. That is why I'm single. Sure, that's why.
Oh god. Alright. All that just for that. A little upset. Alright. Head on down. Yes, high tree, so. Cave closed, erosion cursed hazard. If you enter and or touch remove touch slash remove any property, your soul will be cursed by a lift heat mort, and then your ass will be fired. J. Ramirez, call captain management. Alrighty. Uh I guess. Next jump. Alright, honorary cannon firing suspended. Due to erosion, we will not fire the cannon during the tour. Skull cave management. I mean, yes, when you're kind of keeping it in a cave, of course, bad things are going to happen. I don't know if I want to go down there. I. Uh, I guess I kind of have to. Maybe? Oof. I mean, I literally, I think I was jumping down there to fire the cannon, so. Oh, it's a grenade launcher. Just a bullshit story about pirates. Okay, we already read Still, most of this. Welcome to Yara. I'm not gonna reread everything Sohone. after, you Aim. know, I accidentally got myself killed. <gasps> Alright. Let's run on through. know if I was supposed to actually fall all the way down or not, but we did. Ooh. Found the note. Good girl on Tattered Vellum. Uh, the 10th of June, 1684. My dear heart, Ignacio Iggy, your proposed of marriage, proposal of marriage was truly welcome. The food and whiskey and wine and rum and knife throwing did earn my heart. Both but in truth, I always had known it would come. What I had not known was your finest gift unto me, as you said, would not be the petite mort gun, but a child. I have no need of a child. Not now or ever. I have need of equity, of equality, in our future marriage. I ask you to share Skull Cave as our home. No, you said. I ask you to share the Barbados Admiral's gun. You cursed it. Cursed. And marriage must be equals, not adversaries. What is mine, what's yours is mine, it is marriage law. As equals, I will surrender my commission to take you into my custody and throw you to the bony lion, the king of England himself. If you are my loving husband, before we wed, we must reach an agreement. Both must rule as captains of one ship by both holding la uh, petite mort. Your loving fiancé will I breathe till death, Gwen. Yeah. Well, uh... I'll get out. Alrighty, now we're up here. And fire the cannon! Oh, 
All right, we made it. Alrighty. Uh, Le Petit Mort, El Ca Calaveras Cursed Firearm. Cost, 25,000 US dollars. Important, this is not a re replica. This is a cursed historical instrument of death and mayhem. Buyer beware. Oh. Yeah, well, it's mine now. The gun looks real. Holy shit, it was all true. Mm-hmm. But I'm pretty sure they even said, hey. I gotta read that. Ah, that's the way up. Yeah, yeah, I'm tired of getting those photos. Don't care. Whoa, your Luas must be watching me. Mm-hmm. Alright. So I got the gun. Quest completed. Oh, yeah, I found the note. Got the idol. Probably got the charm. Yeah, I'm assuming I got the charm. Got Mort. Lego pants. Already. Well, where to next? Uh, we have a couple options, so I'm thinking... Uh, we airdrop. Shoot roughly for that part of the bridge. Because, yeah, when we get that drop... Uh, there's something on the bridge. I know that. So we can stop, grab it, run all the way down to the gun. Alrighty. Woo! Oh, that's a tank. Alrighty. You know, I kind of wish like I could keep having the launchers as like uh, secondaries, but nope. And collected. And we got that one under the bridge. Let's get... Looks like there's going to be one there. Airdrop for it. Yeah, we're closing it. Getting closer and closer to the end of this whole mess. Alrighty. I don't know if we're going to complete in 30 minutes, though. Like I was hoping. Oh, well. Alright. Swim on up. Go, go, go! Uh, where is it? Oh, it's down in the water. Oh, dang, it's down in the water. Oh, let's see. Can I get unstuck, please? Thank you, game. New trap racer. Next location. Yeah, we're gonna hit that gun and then we'll run out even further after that. Yeah, because I think we're gonna just barely make it to the gun. Yes, yes, I know this is restricted. I think this is the first time I've ever tried to actually like you know, parachute to the gun. I mean, it's interesting. It is something to attempt, but, uh, probably not the smartest thing to do. But we're gonna do it anyways. Alright. Almost there. You know, the fact that I didn't, you know, like, get shot down by the gun... Tells me a lot of good just happened. Whoa! 
collateral. Uh, let's see, where's my thingy? Bam, destroyed. That is now mine. Clear it, skies. All right. Looks like first one is there. First couple of things are down there anyways. So let's get running. Nope. Quick run, run, run. Oh, someone got angry with me. All right. We're almost here. Oh God, it's another shop. Okay. There it is. All right. Uh, down here for you. Wherever you are. I'm like, it's gotta be some secret way up in. Here it is. I'm like, gotta be some way in here. Oh, what? Bathroom in the fort. Oh! And back up to the fort then. Actually, before we get that far... Probably gonna find a bottle over here. Where is that at? Building right on the cliff. Okay, so yeah, get back up, up top. All right, let's scam our way back up. All right. Okay, whatever. Come on. There we go. Alright. Cramped cursive on delicate paper. Whenever I meet God himself in heaven or that fellow in damnation, I shall regale him with my product, proudest moment of feeling and shudder as the crashing waves of Poseidon as I rubbed and Skirt over and over unto your howling come off. And ye, me Gatita, shall ye tell of your slender fingers setting, set to searching my pantaloons until they burst their seams and my fat horn lay quivering in your palm, ready to fire as a cannon primed and loaded. I must needs recall that your goal is my capture, or barring that, my death. And this is not, and this I cannot and shall not abide. But I know, my whiskey swilling fuck kitten, that ye are fairly panting with desire at the thought of reprising the events of that night. So I, I enjoin ye, my love. Meet me in Jamaica. We shall cast off the old world. Make the Caribbean territories our own. Carnival of uh, Vene Venezia. Answer to no man or god. Will you do it? Do not make me wait, darling Gwen. I shall die of it. Toyo en pasión, Ignacio. God. These two are cringe and I enjoy it. Alright. Okay. In the bathroom in the fort. Um, what is it? Ah. 
Where am I going? Boosh. 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 Oh. Well, I guess... I guess Flash. Yeah, I'm like, you would have to actually be honestly pretty careful, because who knows if you could actually find a way out after this. Alright, we got the Supremo Bond. Alright, next up. Um, yeah, literally here. Alright, make our way around. Yeah, go, go, go. All right. Do, 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 do. All right. Just keep on running. All right, almost there. Do, 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 do. Oh, I see that tank rolling on by. Yeah, rolling, rolling, rolling. Hey. Might as well say, yeah, put the pistol away before we start trespassing. Alrighty. It looks like we're going to find the Noah on either side of this path that we're coming up to. Where's Trezo's down? I don't know what Trezo died to, but Trezo died. And of course I can't get up here. Yeah. Are they serious? My voice is slowly giving out. I'm like, rip. Alright, climb on up. Alrighty. Ah, we're inside. Grab that. Uh, can I... Can I loot that, please? Thank you. Let's see, where are... Oh, there's one over here. Ministry of Health Attention, Dr. Estevez. Dr. Estevez, we have received your letter concerning the actions of Dr. Dr. Matias Alonso. In response, we feel it necessary to open an investigation. The allegations you have made are very serious in nature. The use of precious medical resources on fake yarns is a crime that hurts all of us. If we find evid evidence to support your claim, Dr. Alonso will be stripped of his license and subject to re-education. And you will receive the generous reward due to all vigilant yarns. We must place our own if we are to reach paradise. That was what, Dr. Respondents? Yep. In the gazebo. All right. Where is Gazebo? On a red couch. I will shot you. Oh, this way. There it is. Letter on purple stationery. Sergio, my love, I hope you... You are well enjoying that wonderful pool of yours. I will come back for wine soon, I promise. I'm writing f for another referral, my dear. The last one was just magic. He completely erased all the stretch marks on my stomach. Bad memories, gone. But this time I need an artist, a sculptor for my chin and cheekbones. Do you know anyone in Brazil or California? I would also love a vacation. Money is not an issue. Wine and chats and massages soon, por favor. All my love to you, uh, mi vida, Maria Marquesa. Bam. That has been found. Alright. 
So we have that there. And then we'll also have to stop to grab uh, the jewelry box. Yeah, we're kind of scooping out and around, but we got to be careful because we got to still collect a couple on the outside. All right. Do 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 do. Chorizo still not somehow dead. Yes, hola. Amen, Oku. Got you. All right. Almost confused. You know what? We actually should probably quickly stop. Grab bam, bam, bam. Yeah, grab those. And then down, back up. Yeah, it's it's going to become kind of messy here. That's all I know. All right, we'll get there in probably 40 seconds-ish. Here in trees, though. All right. I, I don't know what happened to him. That's part of the problem. I'm like... He died, and I'm like, I'm not running back at this point. Well, I got all of them at least. There's a note around here. That's kind of what I'm looking for is a note. Up. Where is it? On the wall underneath the F and D billboard. There it is. Military clash at local car rally. After numerous warnings, uh, President Anton Castillo has acted on his threats by sending the military to break up the latest car rally protest. Started as a peaceful movement meant to show pride in craftsmanship has become a grim reminder that Castillo will not stop at nothing will stop at nothing to remove Yara forward. Or to move Yara forward. Leader of this movement, Dalian Suarez, proud father and owner of local garage, promised that this is not the end. This isn't just about the cars anymore. We know why his focus is on military production and why no more parts will be manufactured. Castillo wants to control us with violence, with fear, but he won't frighten us into silence. Not now, not ever. Alright, got that one. Oh. Slide on down. Okay. Oh, we didn't loot that. There we go. On that one. And then we have to go all the way to the pier. All the way there. All right, let's get moving. Got to be careful here. Yes. I would say, please get him. Oh, got stuck on something. Briefly. Do you collect you? Alrighty, that one is found. Um, yeah, you know what? We'll go back to what we were doing. Ah, oh, yeah, to there. Is there a good? Uh... Yeah, we can do this for the flyover. That'll get us pretty close. Actually, that'll get us pretty close to a lot. Really, this is our flyover point from here on out. Yeah, because we'll use that to clear out most of it. Um, I think the only other better flyout point would be the one to get to uh, the race, but eh. I'm not too worried. And 
actually, I might change my flyover from landing there to landing uh, here. That way it's less backtracking. Damn. Spot on. Got the rooster. El Phoenix. On the balcony table. Probably up high. Another rack. Level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A balcony table here. Is it up top? I mean, I see a table up there. Oh, it's right here. Okay, so I scribbled out. Um, Imelda, it is probably nothing but Sergeant Vargas wants me to come down to his office. Proper property dispute is how he put it on the phone. Sound friendly enough, although if it's about the pool, you know that Singao Dario is involved. I was over at his house toasting El Presidente last week. If he thinks he can get over going over on me and stop us from adding that jacuzzi, he's going to be disappointed. I've got friends in the uh, Capitolio who don't even know Dario exists. Talk soon, maybe grab some fish for dinner. Andres. Escape journal. Oh, we got lucky. Yet again. I was like... Yeah, we need to check that. And yes, we did. 